Hello everyone and welcome back to another day in James's Minecraft world. This is James's Minecraft Journal, day 26, and my name is James the Douglas. Um, that's bad. I said um again. I, I, I said I was going to try and make an effort not to say um, and I've just said it twice now, so let's try not do that again. So let's enter the chicken house, or whatever this is called. Eh, chicken house is fine. Now as you can hear, there is the sound of a dispenser, an empty dispenser being powered. Let's go and see what's happening. Uh, that was an ah, uh, not a num, so <laughs> that's a good start. This is the clock that I implemented to the original chicken farm, which was over near spawn. Uh, but obviously that was out of range of our new base, we had to move it over here. Uh, let me just explain how things are working here. So basically, oh you know what, let's put this lever, is it here? Right, there we go, okay. So we've got two levers here. Lever number one, you pull that, the pistons retract uh, by the door there, and those pistons retract to let the water flow out down to the this channel here that the, 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 uh, the chickens will fall in and get pushed to the killing chamber. So that's the first lever. I think I showed that last time, but in case you forgot. Second lever uh, powers the clock. So currently the lever is down or off. Oh, actually no, technically it's on. So technically it's powering this wire which uh, depowers the torch which stops the clock. But if we depower the wire it will power the torch, that will then power the torch and the clock will operate as usual and it will flow to that block there which powers the dispenser as you can hear uh, oh yeah we're at 41, ok we're all good um, I did have one concern I was concerned that the wire running right past the hopper would prevent items from going through it but if we chuck that in there as you can see that is not the case so everything is good here. The pro it wasn't too hard to figure it out. It was it wasn't hard. It was just just a wee bit annoying, but otherwise I think I think we got there in the end. So that is that. It's turning night, so let's quickly rush back. Uh oh. I just got an enchanted bow. Oh, I was lagging there. Don't know why I'm showing me killing a creeper, but I just thought it might be interesting. Yeah, we got a power bow here, or not a power bow. We got a bow. On breaking two. Whoa, we can make on breaking three with that. Let's go see how many levels it is to combine it. Hopefully it's not too much. There's still a few mobs about, so we can go and kill them. In fact, let's kill them now, because I saw that guy despawn. Alright, let's check this out. So we've got Unbreaking 2, Unbreaking 2 Power 1. That will be, ooh, 17 to combine that way and 19 to combine that way. So we do need a few more uh, to combine them both. But hey, I'm not complaining. That is going to be a pretty good enchanted bow without the uh, need of an enchanting table. So let's go back over here. I think I basically explained everything that was needing to be explained. We do need a roof on here because I don't plan to have it open like this. I plan to blend it in with the hillside. Um, we do have a bunch of dirt here. I don't really want to use dirt as the roof. However, we are going to... Um, oh, God. Ah, I'm so bad at that. It's going to take ages and ages of practice to stop saying um, but whatever. I think the roof is going to just sit like here. So one level above the thing, so any dirt we place has to be here. So let's do that now, just briefly. I'll do most of this off camera, but just briefly I wish to talk about ah yeah, we need to fill the chicken hole. Let's go do that now. I'll turn this off because it's slightly annoying. Alright, so I don't want to go too deep into anything at the minute, but one thing I do want to discuss is game difficulty. As you would know, we are not in 1.8, therefore game difficulty is interchangeable. Uh, currently I'm playing on hard, and I probably will be playing on hard for most of this uh, LP. 
However, I do want to discuss that uh, with with uh, with the video, just so that I can uh, in the video, so that I can clarify my position on it. I want to play on hard as much as possible. However, in my last single player world, I did spend a lot of time playing on peaceful, and that was because I didn't want to be disturbed while doing builds. I know there is a few held amongst Minecraft players that there's no point in peaceful because it takes out an element of Minecraft which is, well, almost essential to survival. And I agree with that to some extent. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, throwing eggs in a, in a hole while I'm talking. I could be doing other stuff. But we, this needs to be done. So yeah, basically that's just one school of thought. My school of thought, however, is if... Imagine I'm make, doing a build on Peaceful Large build, and I keep getting blown up by creepers, I keep getting attacked by skeletons. Now obviously people will say get better armour, or light the place up, or you know, whatever. But basically if it gets to a point where I'm not finding it fun having mobs on, I will turn them off, that's all I'm saying. So if in, in the future I'm doing a big build, or I need to do a bit of digging underground, or you know, for some reason I'm doing something that means I will get annoyed by mobs if I have them on, I will turn them off if they're not essential. If I'm out caving, like caving for um, resources, I, it'll be on hard. If I am exploring, it'll be on hard. Generally, if I'm about here, it'll be on hard. And this is like my base, and I we've already had one creeper explosion. So I'd rather not repeat that. Hang on, how many is in there? It's like 23. I'm kind of thinking that might be enough. 20. You know what they say, 20 is plenty. Um, but yeah, I will turn it to peaceful basically if I think that things are not, it, well, it's, the game's not enjoyable enough, you know, without, well, while it's on hard. I know people will see that's kind of lame, but that's just my way of, that's just my way of looking at things. So don't expect, like, if you ever see me playing on peaceful, that is why. I know I said I play on hard, but... I will play in peaceful if necessary. On the server it's different because on, on the server, yeah we do play in peaceful now and again but normally it's just on easy. I can deal with the server because most of the builds I've done on that, well one it's on easy so that's easier than hard and two it's universal like I, well I can control the difficulty but no one else can so like if Ross wanted to do a build on peaceful he couldn't because he can't control it and Domo wouldn't let him so I would feel wilty at turning the server to peaceful just for myself, so I wouldn't do that, but I'm going to do it here. Uh, let's see, let's do that, hopefully the chickens don't suffocate. I'm just going to cover this up a bit. I think that we're going to try and increase the size of the hill, but this will do for now. We're going to try and decorate the roof, or the ceiling, sorry, in, inside the hut. And hopefully that'll make it look good, and we will be just about finished. Okay, so a lot of time has passed. Uh, we're here. At the, well, it's not completed yet, and I actually forgot that there is still the channel to do in the killing chamber. I completely forgot about those. I cannot believe I overlooked two essentials of the the farm, let's turn that off. I'm kind of against these chickens being like in the wall there. I don't, I'm not particularly happy with that, but I guess it's just something we'll have to learn to live with. Now, nah, whatever. Let's just get used to it. Uh, okay, so for the roof, I put glowstone into the ceiling. I did go to the nether. I already had some from witch drops, but I had to get more. And I also put in the logs, the spruce, uh, not spruce logs, the birch logs. I've never used them before in a build. I'm not sure how I like this. I kind of think it's cool, but at the same time I kind of think it sucks. Hmm. I think on the basis of opinion in my brain, my brain is doing little, little sums of opinion, and I think it likes it more than it dislikes it. So we're going to keep it. I don't like the these things not that much can get rid of them if we do things like that but unfortunately that's not possible in every place 
for example, here, we're right at two glass blocks, so yeah, overall it's going to be tough to, to fix these, but I'll give it my best shot. So yeah, we've just got to work on the killing chamber now, and the other water stream, and we will be finished. Alright guys, I just want to give you a rundown of what I've been doing, and it'll be quick, because I want to get this finished before the end of the episode. I decided to stick with the roof. As you can see, I'm just going to leave it with leave it like that. I've managed to get rid of the dark spots, uh, the lighting glitches. I said things in the previous clip, but I meant dark uh, lighting glitches. We've got a new lever here, and this controls this uh, door here. Open it by a piston. We can jump in. This is goes down to the killing chamber. Please don't be a mob. Yep, there's no mobs. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I was just about to put in a couple of pumpkins. Like so. There we go. And I was also just about to put some uh, chests in, but I'll do that in a minute. And I'll show you that off once it's done. I'm hoping we can actually get it to run for the first time today. Uh, but we do have a bunch of chickens in there, in fact. I'm just going to run in. Grab as many eggs as possible. And I will throw them back in the dispenser. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you one thing that I did in the actual control room. Which is probably bigger than it needs to be, but... Whatever. Let's just get that in there. And jump up here. Okay, so here's the change I made. Oops, I decided to put a log here. Now the reason for that is because I put a log here. Now the reason for that is because it stops chickens from glitching through. Uh, it gives it... it doesn't detract from the look. In fact, I think it adds to it slightly. So I'm quite happy with it and we're just going to leave it like that. This room is pretty much finished. If you look on top, the hill itself is a little more natural. It's just a you know, a reasonably nice thing here. We could even add some... Uh, oh, some grass and flowers if we really wanted you know just I mean we might build here again in the future but for now grass and flowers usually does the job of you know disguising man-made things let's put some more here as well and there that's good that's good okay so we can't go up that way we can't go up that way uh, let's that's what that's what's been done, and I will get back to you once uh, everything is pretty much finished. You know what? This is like the fourth guy, third guy, fourth guy that's coming to our village. Oops, the fourth guy that's coming to our village. I don't know. It's like it's like they're thinking of an invasion. It's like these guys are the scouts. They're sending scouts through. He's here to scout out the area. He's not going to attack me because that would be dumb. I mean, he will attack if I attack him, but he's not going to attack me. He's just here to scout out the land, see what's good about it, and then he's going to go back, he's going to tell his buddies, and then a pack of them are going to run through, and in my sleep, I will be murdered. Alright guys, we've got enough levels now to combine these bows, so Power 1 and Breaking 2, and Unbreaking 2 gives us per, uh, Unbreaking 3. Power 1, which is a pretty neat bow if I do say so myself. That is a... Oh, that's a level 30 bow in effect. Cause you sh well, I know you don't get power 1 off a of level 30, but you get I'm breaking 3 off a of level 30. So in effect, that is a level 30 bow right there. That is pretty sweet. I am happy with that. Okay. Down to... Here. This is what I've done down here. Not too much, not too much. Uh, I put a bunch of chests here just because I wanted to I wanted to brighten the place I and mean, I thought chests would help uh, because you get a lot of like I mean for example if I want to store potions here or other sort of stuff it, it's easy to store down here uh, also well when I say potions I mean poison potions because that's what this is for my aim is to put poison potions in there hit that button poison potion, potions get spat out and the uh, the birds get poisoned and then we just go in with our fists like this and we punch them and they give us their stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not entirely sure, well we're going to test it, we'll, we'll worry about that when it tests. 
Uh, you know what, let's put a few furni down here. One there and one there. Yeah, furnace is there just in case we want to cook some chicken while we're down here. Um, it's kind of difficult to move about because of the different types of hitboxes we've got, but that's alright. Let's crawl back up here. Do we? No, we don't have any lights. I put another lever on over here, just for looks. Doesn't serve any purpose, but that's alright. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this stuff. Eh, uh, whatever. Actually, that's probably a bad idea, because we're just about to test the thing for the first time. Alright, let's shut off the... Let's shut off that. Okay, that's all we can get rid of. No issue. We can also get rid of that. Alright, here we go. Let's have a look in the chicken farm. We're going to get eggs, and there is a few babies in there, but whatever. They'll just have to grow up fast. Right, here we go. I'm going to pull this lever and then run. Because I want to see what it's like. I'm getting swept in. I hope I've not missed anything out. I really do. Why are there two chickens stuck? Oh, babies can move about for some reason. Um, oh, they're stuck on the ladder. I didn't think of that. Yeah, there was a fault similar to this in my last one where they would get stuck in the fence for some reason. They seem to be alright now. Don't know what this guy's problem is. He seems to be fighting the current. Get in there where you belong, mate. What's he doing? He's glitched! Get my bow out. Got no arrows. Ah, oh, whatever. Mr. Egypt over here is just going to... Uh, is just going to defy the odds and remain alive. Alright, this is one worry thing, is that these guys will escape. But otherwise, most of them are in there, so we're just gonna do this. That seems to be working. Am I getting this stuff? Yep. Now, the thing is, all the babies can run through, I'm pretty sure. Ah, yeah, it falls back here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, you know what those are? Those are the chickens that feed the dispenser. I forgot about that. I was like, why is there uh, so many chickens out there? Alright, sorry about that. I was worried that things wouldn't go my way if I didn't sleep. So we've got Mr. Chicken over here who managed to defy the odds. How do you feel, Mr. Chicken? Silence as always. Yeah, so we're going to have to see if that's a bug in the system, but otherwise I think it should be fine. Uh, yeah, you can live. If you get stuck the next time, I'll notice you. In fact, we should... Nah, we're not going to name them. Alright, one thing we're going to do before we end the episode is we're going to have a bit of fun. I do have two name tags, I believe. And um, we're going to use one of them. Uh, now, I don't tend to use name tags that much, but this is an exception. Uh, so we're going to rename it. Oh, I don't have enough levels, do I? Oh, no, I do. That's good. Okay. So, Control-V. We're going to label Dinner Bone. Now, I read the wiki. Apparently, if you name any mob Dinner Bone, they turn upside down. Now, I saw this with horses in UHC, but I didn't know it was any mob. But we're going to try it with a horse nonetheless, okay? And I've got several horses here. Now, hopefully this won't impact breeding. But if it does, we'll just get cool dinner bone babies. Uh, we've got two of these horses, so we'll name one of them dinner bone. Ready? Three, two, one. Yes! Oh, it does work. That's awesome. Oh, let's ride him about. Oh, oh yeah, you can't shift. Well, that's um, this horse mucked up. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, um, actually, on second thoughts, that is actually gives you a better like is better to hit people there just because, like on a regular horse, you've got the head obviously, which I will just demonstrate here and now. So we'll leave Dinnerbone there. We'll get on this horse, who's not as good a jumper as Dinnerbone. Yeah, so you've got the head in the way here. 
but if you if you sit on dinner bone you can you've pretty got much got full view like if I look like this you can just see dinner bones feet in my inventory slots but uh, otherwise I got full I mean if you look down obviously you're gonna see them I thought it'd be more off-putting but it's actually really really cool all right so we've done something new I think this is pretty funny so I'll be doing this with a lot of mobs if I get a lot of name tags but that's it for this episode thank you for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.